but that's the way of it. Revenge isn't based on getting justice. Revenge is based on creating more pain. And a lot of times it's created on the basis of getting more pain so that you will retaliate so they can retaliate and everybody's retaliating on the retaliation and it never ends. And the Bible will tell you one side, an eye for an eye. And the other side will say, if someone slaps you on the face, turn the other cheek. And people take things literally. And they want to. They want to have ructions. It's not because somebody feels better or superior. They have innate hatred of anything that isn't theirs. And they can feel superior too. And what they don't understand is, just as the Americans are now learning, they've created their own fear ghetto. A ghetto of fear. They are afraid of everybody and everything. And the real problem they'll have in their lives is not in their lifetime, it's in their children's lifetime. Because as we've seen with all empires and all great companies and all great things, they fall. And those that are left behind fall with them. And some manage to escape, but the vast majority suffer because people remember the bastards they were. We see this in history all the time. Them's that are big that can slap your face will one day have their face slapped. And I have to tell you now one aspect of this very important story. This is history for you. Here's another big Larry. One thing about this um, history is that we poor Irish will not suffer anything at all. Because everybody loves the Irish. We work all over the world in practically all the, uh, the different industries, educations, Wherever you want it, you'll see an Irishman. And no matter how bad things happen, on the basis of being American or British or German or French or whatever you have, there'll be an Irishman in there. But the world will always blame the nation of the Germans, the Americans, the French, the Russians. And the Irish will serve in all those administrations. And people will still say, Ah, sure, God help us. Aren't the Irish only wonderful? Top of the morning to you there now, sir. Would you be having roast beef with your chips? Or were you having chips at all?